Hey guys, welcome to the vlog today. Um, we're gonna be going to school. Car always does this, it takes such a long time to start sometimes. I think it's my coils. I need to replace the other six coils and then we'll be on our way. There we go. Close the garage. I need a jacket, that's for sure. All right, so I'll be in class for a while today. I have class from 9.30 a.m. to 2.20. So it's gonna be a while that I'm in class, but after we're gonna be doing a few installations. I gotta do my mirror tap for my radar detector, and then I also gotta install the blend mounts. And then, not only that, I bought a few, uh, I bought a few paint markers yesterday. And I think we're gonna try and paint my um, my tire lettering just to kind of make it pop a little more. So we'll have a few we'll have a few clips on that, and then hopefully I can go to Weatherford just to see if my friend's gonna get his uh, 2018 M3 ZCP. He got it an individual color that I'm not gonna tell you yet because I want to show you. So we're on our way, finally on the freeway. just got out of school um, there's one thing that I kind of uh, that's not gonna happen today my friend Stan's not gonna get his M3 today um, just because he's waiting another week or so so next week hopefully or maybe even a few weeks out um, depending on when he wants to pick it up but I just got back from school we're gonna now go get something to eat nice little bite to eat and then we're gonna go home and do some um, installation. So I'll see you then. process of this blend mount and mirror tap and then right after that we're gonna probably try and do the lettering for the tires I think that'll look kind of cool so um, we're gonna be driving home real quick so I will see you guys when I get there install a mirror tap in the M5 today. This is going to basically, it's gonna be pretty easy. So just to show you how it looks, 
mirror tap, and it comes with a bunch of different extensions here. We're going to use the 0 0.60 extension. All right, so we're in the car. The first thing we have to do is we have to undo the clamshell behind the mirror. So the way you do that, you basically just pull these two pieces apart and it will just kind of snap off. All right, so now that those pieces are off, we're basically gonna wanna get into this tap right here. This plug kinda could come out a little bit. There's a little bit of wiggle room here, but essentially we're gonna put the ground on the brown cable. Sorry, you can't see. We're gonna put the ground on the brown cable. So the brown one is the top right, and then we're gonna put the positive on the blue and green cable and that should give us power so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll check back in all right so i got those tapped in there and then i also got it plugged into my radar now there's just one thing to see try and fire up the car and see if it turns on looks like we have power so that worked all right, so now the only thing left to do before you wire it up, there is this little piece here that um, comes with it. It's just a shrinking tube. Basically what you wanna do, you wanna use a lighter to heat up the shrinking tube right over where the connections go. You gotta kinda plug these um, little extensions into the actual cable. And then you just put over the shrinking tube there. And basically what we do is on there and now the last thing to do now is to go right in here and just figure out a good way to wire the cord um, kind of hide it all right guys so we just finished tackling the blend mount um, it actually looks super cool so let's take a look I just had it tucked right through there goes right in here and now next up we're going to be doing the blend mount where it basically just goes right up there and um, it's going to be holding the radar detector without needing to use a suction cup on the windshield or anything it's just going to be right under the um, right under the rear view mirror and it's going to look very very clean so I'm very excited to finish that up all right so let's see it says Loosen the clamp screw to the top section. Top section separates from the midsection. This will provide the necessary clearance to slide the mount over the mirror stem as shown above. Adjust the mirror parallel to the windshield for ease. Okay, it's easy. Position them. Okay. All right, so let's get this on there and then we can finally fine tune it with the Allen wrench and stuff, so let's see. It's not loose enough. It's still not loose enough. How much does it really need it? I'm trying to unscrew the whole thing. Oh. So now we got to read the back of the instructions. And it's going to tell you how to kind of adjust it so it's perfect for your view. Oh shoot. I almost snapped this thing. Yeah, it's 
down there good. All right, cool. So now, I think now I've placed my radar on there. All right, so just to show you how it works, look how good it looks. It's pretty well on there. I just gotta fine tune it to the way I want it. All right, so I got it finished. I have it exactly how I want it. It's nice and tight. Um, I can adjust my mirror. It looks really good. And I even tucked the wire a little better. So here it is. Super cool. Real nice and tight, doesn't bounce, very solid. I even put the wire through the clip there so it looks even cleaner. And that's exactly how I wanted it to come out. So if you want one of these, um, I bought mine off Amazon through a company from, through a company called Blend Mounts. Um, they also sell the mirror tap kit so you can actually run it straight through your mirror. Um, just make sure that if you buy the mirror tap kit that your mirror has a home link or it has some sort of auto dimming where power is getting brought to the mirror because if you just have a regular stick on rear view mirror like some older cars do, it's not going to work. Alright guys, so now we're going to attempt to put on the, um, we're going to attempt to put on the tire letters with the paint marker. So one thing you have to do for this is... First, you're gonna to wanna to clean your tire a little bit. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some degreaser I have here, and then I'm gonna use just a sponge or something just to kind of wipe down the tire a little bit. Once it's dry, um, I'm just gonna write on it very lightly um, with one coat of paint and see how that turns out. So I will be right back. All right guys, so I just finished up with the white markers. I actually got it to work and come out kind of good. So let's take a look. look pretty good um thank you for watching today i'm going to end the video here we just finished up we did the blend mount the mirror tap and the white lettering on the car um so thank you for watching speed haven and please check back for more content thank you